Well, you guys, I've had another video request on how to install uh, Ubuntu with Windows 7 as a dual boot. Well, I'm going to be using uh, an easy install called Wubi to do this job for me at the desktop of Windows 7. There's a couple of ways again about it. You can either uh, partition uh, another partition here, or you can install it straight into the C drive, and then you can easily uninstall it when you want to. It's a great way of installing Ubuntu inside Windows 7. And uh, this is the actual site you'll need to come to. Just click on this start download part here and a little installer will come down. And once you get that you can see 2.4 megabytes in size. And uh, once you've got that, we're going to double click on this and then run this. Now, as you can see here, we've got some options open to us. We can choose our language. Okay, so whatever language you want. You can put your username and password in here if you wanted to. And also you can select which one you want. I'm just going to leave it on Ubuntu for this. And uh, you can select the size that you wish, depending on what size of the installation size. This will just cut down on the uh, files. So you've got the uh, installation drive here. Now, if you did make a partition, you could choose another partition. And what I mean by that is... You would have to, if you had a bigger, larger drive than this C drive that I've got here in this virtual box, you could actually create another partition um, and then obviously install it to there. But it is safe to install into the C drive, as you'll see in a minute. So it wants a password here, so I'm going to quickly install a password. And then go install. And then just leave that running to install, and then it'll, reach, it'll shut down, and then start to load it all in. Okay, so now it wants to, to uh, reboot, so I'm going to quickly click on reboot now, and click finish. Okay, so now it's installing Ubuntu onto our system here. So just let it do its thing. It will take a bit of time to install. Okay, so now we're at the uh, boot up stage, and as you can see, we've now got options open to us. We've got Ubuntu, and we've got Windows 7. So if you wanted to boot into Ubuntu, and just log in with our password. And there we are at the desktop of Ubuntu. Now you can do what you like here once you're here. And if you want to boot back into Windows, all you need to do is reboot the system and choose Windows 7. So let's have a go at that. So now all we need to do here is choose Windows. And there you have it. Now I did say it's easy to uninstall and if you wanted to do that all you need to do is go to add and remove programs and it will remove it for you. So all you need to do here is uninstall 
program and there you go there so if you wanted to do that we could just quickly uninstall this click uninstall reboot the system And as you can see, your machine is back to normal. So it's pretty straightforward, really. And that's how you install Ubuntu inside Windows 7 and also how you uninstall it. Very simple. And uh, give it a go. It's a pretty useful uh, bit of kit once you've uh, got it installed and have a play. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also, rate and favorite me videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.